Hey, welcome back, and I am super excited to share this new video. So there's a tool that I've been using extensively when I got my first hand on it a few months ago, which is Record to Slides, which is just this amazing Google Chrome extension from Clay Smith that runs in Google Slides. And if you haven't used it yet, um, there's another video that I'll link in the uh, description below. But basically what it allows you to do is turn on your front facing camera and add video of you directly inside of Google Slides. So he's back with an update. And what this update allows you to do is not just use front facing video, but it also embeds screen sharing, which is essentially allowing you to screen record right when you're in Google Slides. So I'm going to demo the whole process of using this new update and record to slides and walk you through two of the workflows that I like to do and then hopefully you can start using it effectively in your instruction and video creation. So here we are in a set of Google Slides and you can see up in the top right hand corner I already have record to slides installed. It's this little blue button right here. If you need to install that you can click the link in the description below to grab record to slides. Now here's the update. When I tap on this what you'll notice is we have an option now below. We can record just the front facing video or this little dot, this little button right here lets us actually screen share while we're recording. So below, you notice we also have a volume toggle or a mic toggle. Let's leave that on. And I'll show you the two processes that I like to use when I'm creating now with record to slides. So the first one is I'm just going to simply screen record from another tab. So let's do that right now. I have another tab queued up. It's Google Earth. I might want to screen record on top of that inside of my slides. So I'm going to tap on the record to slides icon. What I do here, here's my process. I'm going to screen share first, this little button right here. Then I'm going to come back and hit record to make sure I'm recording the screen and then go back and just record that tab that I've already selected. So I'm going to select screen share. I'm going to go to a Chrome tab and pick Google Earth that I'd like to screen share. So notice it's sharing this, but I'm not recording yet. So I'll go back to Google Slides and it's not recording. I need to hit record. So I'll hit record. Now I'm creating a video of me talking about Google Earth. Now, obviously, I'd want to jump to the tab so I can see it all and I can talk about anything I'd like on Google Earth, manipulate this. But keep in mind, you can make this any content you'd like. This could be a document. This could be a diagram. You might have a FET simulation running in the background, whatever you'd like it to be. Then when I'm done, I'll come back to my Google Slides and stop the recording. That's going to process. We'll hit OK. And now again, that process, just like the regular use of record to slides, that's going up to Google Drive, save in, and then it's going to insert on the slides automatically for us. And here it is. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Give it a little bit of a border. And then we'll test out the video. Hopefully it's processed right away. Let's hit play. Now I'm creating a video of me talking about Google Earth. Now, obviously, I want to jump to the tab so I can see it all. So there we go. There's screen recording right in Google Slides with Record to Slides. Now, there's no inking on the screen, at least not yet. Um, and notice that even when I was jumping back and forth, because I was sharing that particular tab, it only captured that tab. Now, let's add another layer to this. What you can actually do is switch between your front facing camera and another tab if you'd like to. And I'll demo that process right now. So still using Google Earth. I'm on my new slide. I'll tap on the record to slides button. So what I'd like to do first is just record me. So here's my process. I'm going to record just my front facing camera. Then I'm going to toggle over and do a screen share to that tab. Then I'll turn the screen share off and come back to my front facing camera and we can go back and forth if you'd like to. So let's demo it right now. So here we are, I'm making a recording with record to slides only using the front facing camera. Now I'm going to layer in a screen share. So I'll do screen share and I'll pick my Chrome tab and jump to Google Earth. So now it's recording Google Earth. It's still recording because we can see that red button blinking on my previous tab and we know that we're screen sharing this tab. Now, if I go back to Google Slides, Notice it's still screen sharing. So it's not capturing me with my front facing video. It's still capturing the tab. But what I'll do is either hit stop here or hit stop in the tab that I was working in either one. But now because I'm still recording, it's still capturing me. So we're still making a video. I could say, oh, you know, we need to add one more idea. Let's go back and do a Chrome tab recording. 
And notice the red light is still blinking. It's still recording. And I just jump back to Google Earth. So this is a nice way that you can jump back and forth between just you, like focus their attention on you, and then go to the content that you need to share. So I'm going to stop the screen share one more time. And now we'll just turn the video off. Hit OK and let that process. So I think it's pretty safe to say with these new updates, it makes Record to Slides an even more powerful tool. I love the fact that if you can get comfortable navigating the extension, you can go from front facing to any content on the web or any program on your device, back to front facing, back to content on the web. I think it could even be really powerful if students were obviously the ones creating this content. If you can get the extension installed in your domain and get them up and running, it could be a really nice way for kids to go from their work back to just kind of reflecting and explaining back to their work that they can talk about. So let's play this back and see what it looks like. So here we are, I'm making a recording with record to slides only using the front facing camera. Now I'm gonna layer in a screen share. So I'll do screen share and I'll pick my Chrome tab and jump to Google Earth. So now it's recording Google Earth. So there we go, we have that transition that's been captured. See that red button blinking on my previous tab and we know that we're screen sharing this tab. Now, if I go back to Google Slides, Notice it's still screen sharing. So it's not capturing me with my front facing video. It's still capturing the tab. What I'll do is either hit stop here or hit stop in the tab that I was working in either one. But now because I'm still recording, it's still capturing me. So we're so there we go. They jump back and forth between two environments. And then if we just jump ahead a little bit in the video, you can see there it goes back to Google Earth and then back to I think we they're back to my front facing video. So that's it. Record to slides with a huge update. Thank you to Clay Smith for making this amazing tool and hopefully this video helps you navigate the changes to this Google Chrome extension. Good luck creating. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.